final resting place of a local Civil War soldier is getting proper recognition today. And the people responsible? Middle schoolers. James O'Connell died in 1899, but his grave in Albany's St. Agnes Cemetery was unmarked. Enter a group of 7th and 8th grade students at the Holy Spirit School in East Greenbush, who had been working on a long-term project on the Civil War. That projected, our project ended today with the installation of a gravestone for him. This James O'Connell was someone that lived here, someone that, you know, made an impact in our community, just like they are making an impact in our community, and um, that we have reverence and respect for the people that came before us. The installation of O'Connell's new gravestone came with full military honors. Pretty neat. That is indeed. Well, let's send it over to Liana now to find out what's next in sports. Liana. Hey, guys. The year. For 115 years, a Civil War veteran's grave has been unmarked in St. Agnes's Cemetery in Menands. But an East Greenbush Middle School fixed that overdue problem. I'm Maria Valvanis has more. We are coming to uh, do the uh, grave here. 115 years later. I think it's very nice that our school is like, coming out and helping, um, especially this uh, man because he came and helped our, um, he helped the United States. Seventh and eighth grade students from the Holy Spirit School helped to keep history alive with every shovel of dirt. How many kids get to say, they installed a Civil War veteran's gravestone. It's a very rare opportunity. A long overdue tribute for Albany-born Civil War veteran, Private James O'Connell. It's an upright marble gravestone that would be typically relevant to that time in history. The students adopted Private O'Connell through the Civil War Veteran Memorial Project. They are studying the Civil War and they, they touch on it in all the uh, middle school classes, but uh, these particular children have been very interested. Right now I'm pretty excited and very happy for this man and that uh, we get to see his grave and be able to be part of this. An effort to make sure no grave is left unmarked so that no soldier is ever forgotten. He died 115 years ago. That doesn't matter. He served his country. He deserves to be remembered. All veterans do. Tributes long overdue for sacrifices appreciated generations later. Because I think he should be honored for what he has done. Private O'Connell is the 401st veteran to receive a gravestone through this program, but believe it or not, there are still a number of unmarked grave sites. To learn how you can help honor our heroes, you can log on to our website. Reporting in Manans, Maria Valvenas, Time Warner Cable News.